folks, today we are here in beautiful Wares Valley. It could be a busy valley, especially during tourist season. And this is tourist season. There's a lot to do. It's a little bit quieter. It doesn't have the go-karts, doesn't have bungee, whatever. Dawn, are you ready? I am ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. this. Entering Ware's Valley, a quiet little part of the Smokies here, not too far from Pigeon Forge. Uh, a lot of antique shops, a few eateries, a uh, great couple of great breakfast spots, uh, some crafts, a lot of shopping to be had. They have an, a genuine, annuine pottery here. And it's changed over the years. And being surrounded by the Great Smoky Mountains makes it that much better. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna explore Ware's Valley. So we're here in the center of Ware's Valley. This is where we're gonna start our little adventure. And Annuine Pottery is no longer here. It's a Ware's Valley Antique and Craft Gallery now. Things change awful quickly and they also have the Wares Valley General Store across the street that's a really cool little antique and collectible store and wow just things changed awful quick here so it looks like they have different craftsmen here they got like a, a leather company uh, they have a rustic sage trading company so they have a bunch of different uh, different stores here and across the street they have a food truck park they have different food trucks over there and welcome to where's valley oh, a snoopy birdhouse looks like it's made out of metal it is made out of metal fifty dollars even says snoopy it's actually pretty cool it's handmade yeah. Yeah, there's old snoop old snoop sitting in the in the Smoky Mountains. And look at those views across the street. That's the Great Smoky Mountains National Park over there. All that is over there. Yeah, these things are pretty cool too. These little airplanes. Boy, they they really catch the wind, don't they? They want a $110. Definitely all handmade. And nothing like ride your bike through Wares Valley. Uh, yeah, 75 for that one. Oh boy, these guys are really cute. $15, little lazy bears. There's an old face jug here, $125. He's smoking a, a cigar there. Not badly priced. They're a little on the smaller side, which is different. A long time ago, this used to be an antique mall. Then it went to pottery. And now it looks like it's going back to uh, like an antique mall slash for artisans, you know, craftsmen. That's really cool there, that train. Yeah, you can rent booths out here. So if you have like a craft or some pottery or something you're making, you know, you could drop it off here. Kind of like an antique mall in a way. They got some really interesting things, don't they? It reminds me of like uh, Japan driftwood. Wow, they got some really cool Smoky Mountain paintings. $175 to $300. That one there is uh, $900. And it's the artist is Terry Chandler. Hmm. Very, very cool. A lot of great Smoky Mountain prints. I recognize a lot of these, these places. Yeah. Oh, wow. They even have Bigfoot for President t-shirts over here. Yeah, a little bit of everything. 
Hmm. Oh wow, Don. So they have so they have a broom maker over here. Yeah, they got some some brooms. These are definitely traditional Smoky Mountain. Um, yeah, it comes from Ogle. It comes from Ogle's Broom Shop, which is they've been making brooms here for pretty much ever. And there's a lot of booths in here, and you can rent one for two hundred dollars a month, and it's pretty pretty good sized booths. I know there's folks out there that might want to rent one, right? We got some really cool Tiffany style lamps here. Oh my goodness, it reminds me of Alaska, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Kate's Cove. These here are really, really cool. Little photos of the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, $24. 15 this one here for $24 is not, not bad at all. 16 for all these rocks. We know all the flower pot people in Pigeon Forge. Well, here's a collection of, of mini ones, $22 each. I, there's a lot of one of a kind crafts in here. A lot of Smoky Mountain reference this is a very unique unique place so it's kind of like an antique store but for but for craftsmen right and they got a lot of photographers in here if you're looking right for maybe like a photo to decorate a cabin with got a lot of really cool photographers there's a beautiful one of kate's cove over there with a rainbow that's a really cool photo oh boy look at the size of that raggedy ann or you can call her Annabelle. <laughs> That's, wow, this one's even bigger. Yeah, and if you're into advertising, that Arby's and that Kentucky Fried Chicken sign are really cool. They're quite big, but not too big. You can display it very nicely. And it looks like they want 600 for the Colonel. I think that's what they want for it. No, it's 300 for the Arby's. I think they want 600 for the colonel. So the colonel's a little bit more. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. They have a lot of unique things. And on this side, it's more antique type stuff than on the other side. Coca-Cola, an old swim here. That was pretty cool. They had things in there I haven't seen anywhere else. And the prices in there were reasonable. I think there's a, a lot, if you're trying to decorate a cabin or maybe like a Smoky Mountain themed room, that's the place to check out. And it's new. It's, an, it's a new uh, store here. Right across the street from Wares Valley Antique is the General Store Antiques. And we've been here before, but it's been a few years. We're gonna go check it out and see what's going on. Where's Valley Village? Pretty cool themed on the outside, isn't it? Oh, oh wow, he has that antique general store looking. Oh, there's crazy old Bigfoot. These guys are definitely up to no good. <laughs> definitely, are they? Huh. And it says the official Sasquatch headquarters so they don't allow filming or photos in there so we're not going to be able to show you that but we have shown it in the past yeah. but uh, it is a cool little store definitely worth a check out especially if you like antiques we're a couple doors down from the general store antiques where they wouldn't let us film they have geppettos which we did a review a long time ago but unfortunately it burnt down a couple years ago they do have a a catering truck or a food truck here but it's not open today but I wouldn't mind trying their their food truck and you have follow your dreams realty of course they have a I think that's um it's firewood that's roasting itself <laughs> it's it's a it's some firewood that's roasting marshmallows on himself very very interesting and what we're and the real reason why we came to Wares Valley today 
is because we heard so much about this sloppy hog burger joint that just opened a few months back. It's been open for a while, but so many folks have told us that it's it's really good. So we're gonna head on in there. We're gonna see what it's about. Uh, pizza, I guess it's uh, wings and uh, burgers. <laughs> So you do feel like you're in Tennessee here, don't you? It's got like a metal roof. It's got hubcaps uh, for lights. Uh, looks like a top of a moonshine still moonshine still over there. They do have a signature Sloppy Joe for $13.75. That sounds really good. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to get the Smoky Chicken Burger. I'll probably get it plain. And I think Dawn says she's going to get one of their, their hamburgers, one of their... There are half pound burgers here, two smash patties. Uh, it comes with french fries and seasoning. Um, I'm gonna probably have coleslaw for a side. Um, but they do have a really cool menu here, and they do have a huge sloppy joe. They also have a bologna burger, too. There's no booths, uh, it's pretty much like bar type seating in here. Uh, it's got a real cool, like, wood look. A treasure chest of bottle caps. I got coleslaw for a side and here is my chicken burger comes with tomato it looks like onion lettuce uh, the bun seems to be super soft it's a smash burger it's got two patties uh, lettuce um, onion and then you got coleslaw yeah. for a side as well that's a big burger isn't it, it got a lot of meat <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of meat on that burger of course the burgers kind of slid out a yeah. little bit a um, <laughs> little juicy right yeah. a little juicy yes big old smash burger wow. it is good though mm -hmm. I can see that you like it <laughs> oh boy so I got the the chicken um, sandwich they have here and um, the bun is super soft I like that You see how juicy it is there. The juices are just rolling off of it. The chicken's tender. Uh, it's pretty much just a, a basic piece of chicken. Uh, no seasoning or nothing on it, but that's the way I wanted it. So it's got the pickle. It's really good as well. It's pickle. So I'm going to get in my cold sauce. Now they give you two um, of these cups here. And I'm wondering what it's like. First off, it looks like it's um, it's, it's not not dry, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Kind of like creamy, but not over creamy. Very very good. So we got two waters. Don got the original sloppy with American cheese. I got the smoky chicken. There's a technology fee of a dollar thirteen. If we pay with card, it's thirty-three fifty-one, or if we pay with cash, it's thirty-two thirty-eight. That was Sloppy Hog. We didn't try the pizza. Uh, we didn't try the Sloppy Joe. I did see the French fries. The French fries looked pretty good. I'm trying not to eat fries. I had a chicken sandwich today, um, and it was good. It was good. I you you said the My burger? hamburger was good, and yeah. the coleslaw was really good. Coleslaw was good. It's hard to find a good coleslaw down yeah. here. Yeah, I would say it's average though. Yeah. Average chicken sandwich, average burger. Um, yeah, Sloppy Hog. Yeah. Next door to Sloppy Hogs is 
Hillbillies restaurant and they got a really good breakfast in there. I do recommend that if you're out here for breakfast. They also have a little outdoor fitters there and a, a coffee shop. And yet again, beautiful Great Smoky Mountains. They do have a patio that you can sit out back and that would be a great place to eat and just stare at the mountains. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next time we come back, we're gonna have to try the pizza or something like that. Let's go ahead, let's let's explore the rest of Where's Valley. Great little little place. Oil peanuts. Bird houses. Yeah, they even have a Tennessee Shine Company out here. You can get your your shine on. Backwood Creations. You've got boiled peanuts here. Great big old moonshine still out there. Step off. Freedom. Go away. <laughs> Cute little bears. Oh yeah, you can smell boiled peanuts in the air. Yeah, this here is is the Smoky Mountains. I even got a little little fire out here. Doing a little burning. You got uh, Snoopy and that bug. See him? And that's the truth. The mountains fix everything. A little Clarence section over here. They have is that Papa Smurf and Barney. <laughs> oh yeah, a little little Luigi there. 125 for him. There's the Grinch. Of course, they have really cool um, birdhouses over there, and definitely got that Smoky Mountain look and. And you got this guy just hanging here. <laughs> yeah, a cute little store back there. They do have boiled peanuts there, but I'm not going to be able to have them. But they smelled really good. And this is the entrance to the Foothills Parkway. I highly recommend going up on the Foothills Parkway. It will take you around and then out towards uh, Townsend. You could do a great big loop here. And uh, yeah, I do recommend it. We're not going to do the Foothills Parkway. In fact, we were just up up there about a week ago taking photos and stuff. Great part of the Smoky, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now we're going to head kind of back out into the country. But around the corner here is Mountain Brothers. We're going to go check them out. And we're going to head into Mountain Brothers, which is right here. It's one of my favorite stops. Pilgrim Pottery, and then you have the little Mountain Brothers store over here. They have fried pies and ice cream. We'll check that out when we're getting ready to leave. Uh, it's a great place to pick up some treats if you head into the National Park. And it looks like there's no kettle corn today. Yeah, I like those little cutouts of Mama Bear and her, and her cubs. Uh, great place to get some photos. Well, let's head into Mountain Brothers here. It's a great little store. And it's been a while since we've been here. I'd say it's probably been at least a year. Maybe last fall was the last time we we checked in. Yeah, one of a kind, only found here. So you can only get these hats here and they're pretty cool. I like them. Yeah, definitely one of a kind. And this place is busy. There's a lot of folks in here. It's a, probably one of the most popular stops in Wares Valley. They do have a little bit of everything, puzzles. Yeah, I do like that. That's really cool. Ooh, they have moon pies and a little bit of, you get a cup of coffee here too. And this place is really cool. I like the the counter here, the cash cashier and, oh. 
Boy, I love that huge clock. Union Pacific. You can grind your own coffee here. They have, they have Greenbrier, Where's Valley, Southern Pecan, Maple Nut. You got Tennessee Big Orange. Hey, so you can grind your own coffee here at $16.99 a pound. Of course, I got an old, old grinder over there. I got some honey and sorghum. Got some chocolate uh, pecan honey butter, praline pecan honey butter. All kinds of really great little gifts. I got some chips over here, some caramel puffs. Oh boy, Don! They have tutti frutti popcorn, caramel corn. No, cheese corn. Oh boy, Don, they have buckwheat pancakes here. Oh Pancake mix. Good. They are chocolate chip. All kinds of really cool. And it's uh seven dollars a pound. But they do have they have um pancake mix. They have biscuit, biscuit mix. They got jellies and jams and canned goods and sauces. Big selection too. And they sell a little bit of Michigan up here. Williams cheeses. I recognize that from growing up in Michigan. Summer sausage looks really good too. Troyer. Yeah, it's made in, uh, where is this here? Um, in Ohio. So this is from Ohio. That looks really, really good as well. And they do have Sweetwater Valley Farms, which is Tennessee, just outside of uh, Chattanooga. Wow, I like this too, Cades Cove. That's all the historical structures that are in in Cades Cove. That's a throw too. Yeah. yeah. I always like looking at the t-shirts, IP outside. <laughs> I knew it. And I love these old creaky floors in here. And when you get a lot of folks, it's it's pretty creaky in here. Kind of gets loud, don't it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The sinks, Laurel Falls, Elkmont. We saw that bear up in Elkmont just recently up in the tree, remember? That was a lot of, a lot of fun. Where's Valley, tees, some sweatshirts. And there's another entrance to the park just down the road from here that a lot of folks don't know about. In fact, very few people know about. Not too far from here. Get lost. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot to look at. Yeah. Cades Cove, it's all good. All kinds of stuff. Stuff for the kids. Keychains, magnets, um, handmade items. There's Jumbo Giving Bear. $91. He, he's cool. Oh yeah, I love these little cabins, these little lights. Three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. This reminds me of Cades Cove. It is Cades Cove, the Missionary Baptist Church. A little, a little light for that. Fifteen hundred dollars for this guy, and look at that. Oh, he does have a little cub. Yeah. Oh. And I love the church doors that you go through to enter. And that is a great store. It is busy in there. Of course, it is tourist season now. A lot of folks visiting the Smoky Mountains. And this is a pretty, this is a big stop for folks that are coming back from Cades Cove. And they got everything in there. They got some one of a kind things. And I do recommend, it's one of my favorite stores in this area. And I love the creaky floors. That coffee is, smells amazing. Yeah, coffee is like throughout the whole place, and yeah, and I, a lot of yeah, a lot of coffee drinkers. This is their stop. This is where you get you know get some really good coffee. You can grind it up yourself too. You can yeah. scoop your own out and grind it up. I know folks that come here for the coffee, and they say every single time that they drink it or they smell it in their own kitchen at home, it reminds them of the Smoky Mountains. So. Yeah, cool stop for that as well. The pancakes were so good, but we're trying to stay away from that right now. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the... It's like a tear jerker. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. And it is busy here. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and head into the ice cream and fried pie store. So I think Dawn's going to get a scoop of ice cream. 
They also have the fried pies and it smells amazing. Look at these homemade candy bars. They got little pieces of, of strawberry. So Dawn's fried pie and ice cream was $7.99 and it was $10.41 out the door. So that's Dawn's fried pie and ice cream. I can have a little bit, like maybe a bite or something of, of the ice cream. Um, it's pecan, butter pecan. Butter pecan. Mm. Oh wow, the, the pie is like flaky um, and it's really... Oh wow. I got blueberry. Blueberry is my, I love blueberry. Yeah. Wow. It was, it, the pie mm -hmm. is amazing. The fry pie is amazing. And that's a, what is it? Strawberry or cherry? No, blueberry. blueberry. Oh, blue, I can see a blueberry. It looked blueberry like a, is my favorite. It looked like a, ch a cherry there for a second. <laughs> oh, it's good. That could be one of the better fried pies I've had. Like forever, right? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I want some, I want, I want more, I want more. <laughs> I can have a little bit more, but not much. Mmm, oh yeah. I love blueberries. I used to like the, Very um, good. remember they used to make the, hostess used to make the blueberry pies when we were growing up? Yeah, now this, this, but this here is mm -hmm. a million times better than those. <laughs> No, but I'm saying they don't make them anymore, and you can't really get a blueberry pie, so if I have an opportunity to, I will. Yeah. But Mountain Brothers is an amazing place. You know, got a lot of really unique gifts, uh, the fried pies, ice cream. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in Where's Valley, of course, there wasn't enough time to show you everything today, but Where's Valley, trust me, it's a great place. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in Where's Valley. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.